Yo, what is up my legends? Today Jazzy's gonna show you off the radar and five glitches you can do with it. Wait, look, look, look at this COVID bitch. Nah, fucking sneeze on me. Alright, the first glitch I will show you guys is how to clean a dirty jupe. What is a dirty jupe, you may ask? Let me show you. Most of you may have dirty issues, but Jazzy happens to have the most cleanest car I have is a dirty jupe. Now, how to tell if it's a dirty jupe? How to tell if you've got one? The number plate will be locked. This means that somewhere along the line, this number plate has been sold already. All right, so I'll go to change the number plate and I cannot. It is locked to this 79C bullshit. All right, the game knows that. And if I sell this car, I will get fucking flagged straight away for selling a dirty dupe and yeah, fuck my life. So I'm gonna show you how to clean this car so then you can sell it again, guys. Now, another way to tell if you go to sell your Issy and it only sells for 250 grand, that's fucking dirty, don't sell it. All right, anyway, you need a friend to help and he needs to get off the radar, all right? So this is how we're gonna get off the radar. He needs any fucking Lester text, a blue one, any blue Lester text, all right? It can be the data breach, the Bogdan, whatever. Any blue Lester text. Also, you will need a green list of texts. Now, to get them, just become a CEO, all right? Register as a CEO and wait a few minutes. And Uncle Molester will send you a blue list of texts and a green list of texts as well. But like I said, it doesn't have to be the Bogdan problem. I've got the Bogdan problem. It can be any. There's my green list of texts. The green list of text is just in case you get stuck in the facility. It's to get out, all right? So once your friend has both of the Lester text, the blue one and the green one, tell him to run inside his special vehicle warehouse and drive out, preferably the ramp buggy. Now, once he's outside, all right, I've seen a lot of people having troubles with this, so Jazzy's gonna try and explain it the best I can, all right? That first door next to the blue circle is the one we're aiming for. That second one does absolutely fuck all. If you hit that, you will do nothing, all right? So make sure you hit the first door. Now, the goal here is to sit on Franklin, Trevor, or Michael, it doesn't really matter, but we're gonna sit on the story mode character and let it go as we hit the door. All right, so once, fuck off, Tony. When you're sitting on the story mode character, you can still drive around, all right? I'm just holding down on the D-pad. I've selected Franklin, I'm holding down on the D-pad. So I'm gonna drive to the door, and as I hit the door, I'm gonna let go of down D-pad, all right? Then I'm gonna decline the alert, hop out of the car, and accept the blue Lester text. All right, I'll show you this again, just so you guys can see it. Once I hit the door, let go of down D-pad, Decline the alert, hop out of the car, accept the blue Lester text. All right, you got to do it sort of quick. I'll slow it down here, guys, so you can see it. So like you saw at the start of the video, you've got to be in a lobby with at least 25 or 26 players, or this won't work, guys. Okay, so public lobby with at least 25, 26 players and you'll hit it first go. You know you've hit it, guys. You'll go up in the clouds for about two minutes and then you'll rather drop through the map. Right now, you'll just drop through the map or you will, like me, end up in the facility. Now, if you end up in the facility like this, that is fine. You've just got to go and accept that green Lester text. Once you're in the apartment, just back out of that job and then go and exit the apartment, guys. Now, once you get outside, you will be fully off the radar and that is the only time your friend has to do this, all right? He does not have to do that again for the rest of these five glitches, guys. That is it. Let's go! Now, he has to go and meet you at the nightclub, right? So rather you can come and pick him up or just tell him to meet you at the nightclub.
All right, so now once you're at your nightclub and your off the radar friend is at the nightclub too, you're gonna call out any car, guys. You will not lose this car. We just need to call out any car and your friend needs to sit in it for the duration of this glitch. All right, so tell your friend to hop in the car and he's off the radar. So just tell him to hide around the corner somewhere in a building or whatever, and no one will find him. He should be sweet, all right? try and use a car that's not armored so it doesn't flash on the map <laughs> all right once your friend is hidden away and undetectable he can't get blown up because don't forget we're in a public lobby you're going to run into your nightclub guys and you are going to go to your terabyte garage all right now this part we have to do at the start of every single glitch we're going to do all right you got to call out the car and come into here each and every time so I won't repeat it, I'll just show you now. Press right on the D-pad guys, you will freeze. From here, you're just gonna hit the pause menu and we are going to job teleport over to the arena. Once you get to the arena, go into whatever level you have your dirty dupe on. And I should have said this before guys, make sure you've got a few elegies, clean elegies, all right? Go and purchase a couple of elegies. You can do this right now. But anyway, hop in your dirty jupe, whether it's an issy or whatever. Press right on the D-pad. Now, once you're in the workshop, just press circle button and go down to exit the arena. Now, once you're outside, just pull up your phone, call up your mechanic, and we're going to request one of those clean elegies. Now, once you press X to request the car, you're gonna count to 10, all right? Once you count to 10, guys, tell your friend to hop out of your car, all right? Tell him to just stay where he is, but just hop out of the car. The car will disappear for him, and our number plate will change. Boom, just like that, we've got a clean plate, guys. We have just cleaned the fuck out of this car. All right, now tell your friend to just be patient and wait there for a minute. We're going to call out our MOC. And we're just going to drive this straight into the back of the MOC, all right? Don't worry what's in the back. You're not going to lose it. It's just going to push to wherever you called that elegy out from. Now, I'm just going to put this back in the arena so I can show you guys exactly what happened. All right, so there's the old one, the dirty bit. And over here is my new one. I'm just gonna go and throw my number plate on it and show you that I can now, because it's clean. And so I don't mix it up with the other one. So there you go, guys. Number plates are all unlocked because it's a clean car now. That other dirty fucker can go and get fucked. All right, now I'm just gonna move my new clean one down a level so I don't get them mixed up and accidentally fuck off the wrong one because the old one, guys, we're just gonna pop an elegy straight on top of it to get rid of it. All right, so I'm just gonna purchase an elegy straight on top of that impala and that is it we now have our clean one downstairs and that dirty one is gone guys all right that is the first glitch over and done out of the way onto the next one now like i said i'm not going to show you every time what to do but call out another car tell your friend to hop in it go into the nightclub hop in your terabyte press right on the d-pad job teleport over here to the arena now, this next one, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to move any special vehicle out of its position and get it ready for MOC to MOC give cars to friends, all right? So I'm going to move my Cerberus, Cerberus, whatever the fuck it is. But anyway, jump into any car. It doesn't matter. You won't lose it. Press right on the D-pad and exit the arena, all right? Now, once you're outside, what the fuck? 
Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Fair enough, bro. We spawned out at the same time. Please be with you, bro. All good. All good. We'll try that again. I'm just making a video, but fuck you. All right. So once you spawn outside, guys, you're just going to pull up your phone, call the mechanic, and you are going to request your Cerberus or whatever special vehicle. You might have a tank that you want to get rid of and you want to get one of your friend's modded ones or the thruster for example all right you know your little fucking thruster but whatever special vehicle i'm using the Cerberus for this video so i requested my Cerberus, and i'm going to wait 10 seconds and I'm then i'm going to tell my friend to jump out of the car all right so once again once 10 seconds is up tell my friend to hop out of the car there we go my number plate changed now like i said guys don't worry you're not going to lose this car nor will you lose the number plate all right i will show you in a minute so from here, once your number plate has changed, you're going to head over to any full garage. Make sure your garage is full, all right? And this is where you can swap whatever car you want and put it in place of your Cerberus, all right? So I want the festival bus there. For some reason, I want the festival bus where my Cerberus should be. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just replace this or the, whatever car I was in, my Deluxo, I'm going to replace that with this festival bus accept it and that is it there we go my truck is now in here what the fuck or well, half of it is and back at the arena as you can see there is my festival bus in the Cerberus spot fucking shit up Eshe, let's go but as i said guys you can put any car there your thruster if you want and look the deluxe that i took out before it'll just come straight back here with my personal plate back on it all right, we didn't lose anything, nothing changed. All we done was traded places with the cars, trucks, buses, whatever the fuck we used. Let's go! All right, guys, straight on to the next one. This is how to make a magic spot, all right? So back to the nightclub to call out a car, tell your friend to hop in it, go to your terabyte, right on the D-pad, come to the arena. Now, this time, guys, make sure your arena garage is full, all right? Once it's full, you're going to hop into an Elegy and you're going to press right on the D-pad. Once you come into the garage, guys, just press circle and exit the arena. Now, once you get outside, guys, you're going to pull up your phone and call your mechanic. Now, you want to go to one of your apartments and call out a BMX bike from the rack, all right? If you don't have one on the rack, just quickly go and purchase one. Before you do this, you can go and buy one and it will turn up. Oh, why are there cops here? I don't like when there's cops here. Why is this? If someone blows me up, I am going to have the shits, brah. What's this? Kind of oh, no! For real! Oh, Harry. What's your name? Harry Willy Four. You are dead, my friend. All right, I'm in the middle of a video. I will carry on with my fucking video, but at the end of this video, you are dead, my friend. Now, as I was saying, you're going to call up your mechanic once you're outside, and you're going to request a BMX bike off the rack, all right? Make sure it's off the rack, guys. It cannot be just sitting in your garage. Otherwise, you've already half got a magic spot. But see how I'm right down the bottom of my 10 car garage, my BMX bike's number 13, make sure it is a BMX off the rack. Once you call it out, count to 10 seconds, tell your friend to get the fuck out of your car. Now, once your number plate changes, you're just gonna reverse straight back into the arena and go into the same level you come out of, guys. You will get the full alert, just accept it. You'll now get an option to replace a vehicle, guys. You'll see your Elegy back in here. You're just going to replace it, all right? So just press X on Replace Vehicle, and that is where your BMX bike will be. Now, because it's in the arena, guys, you will not see it, but I will show you it is there. Right there next to my RX-7 is the BMX bike, all right? We are nearly finished. We're not finished just yet. All right, so from here, guys, we're just gonna run straight outside and we are gonna pinch a low-end streetcar. Make sure it's low-end because we need to drive it straight back in. Drive it straight back into the same level as your BMX bike is on. And you're gonna get the option to replace a vehicle, guys. We're just gonna put this straight on top of the BMX bike, all right? 
So replace the BMX bike with this streetcar. And that is your magic spot done, guys. This car is now a magic spot, all right? You can push it to your MOC, or I like to push it to my nightclub entrance, just so I don't lose it. And on top of that, you can go and put, you can purchase whatever car you want, put it on top, all right? Just so you know exactly what car, you know, is your magic spot. So for example, I don't have one of these fucking piss head dominators, all right? So I'm gonna put the piss head dominator straight on top of this fucking prairie. Weird name. And now I know that this piss head is my magic spot, guys. All right, so I'm gonna push that to my nightclub entrance and that is it. Magic spot complete. All right, on to the next one, guys, car to car dupe. All right, so back to the nightclub, call out your car, tell your friend to hop in it, go to your terabyte, ride on the D-pad, come to the arena where I'm at right now, and let's go from here. All right, now in your arena, you will need an issy. All right, make sure it is a clean issy. You don't want to go dupe and fucking dirty dupes or, you know, bung ass issies that only sell for 200 grand. So, also make sure you've got some elegies stored away somewhere guys in another garage all right i'll just show you guys quickly that this issy does sell for i think 1.8 mil yeah 1.8 mil if i put all the gidget gadgets on it i'll get a 1.9 nearly 2 mil for it but anyway guys make sure it is a clean issy all right now from here you're just going to press circle button and exit the arena once you're outside, you're going to pull up your phone, call the mechanic, and just call out one of those elegies, guys. Once you request the elegy, you're going to count to 10. Oh, look at that. I've got a 10 second count down there. Passive mode ends in 10 seconds. And then once the 10 seconds is up, tell your friend to get out of the car. So right now, tell my friend to get out of the car. You're not going to see the number plate change in Jazzy's video, but it did just change just then, guys. All right, so I'm going to drive up here. And once again, I'm gonna call out my MOC. Doesn't matter what's in the back. Just drive it straight in. Press right on the D-pad, accept the alert. It's just gonna push it to wherever you called that LG out from. All right, I'll show you in a sec. But at the moment, this ISI is now duped and saved. All right, now from the first glitch, guys, I don't know if you saw, I pushed the Park Ranger to the back of the MOC. All right, so if I call my mechanic and have a look where the elegy that I called from my boulevard garage is now holding the park ranger. So that's all, it just pushed it to there, all right? So you won't lose whatever's in the back, don't worry about that. If you've got an empty MOC, guys, that is fine. It will just drive straight in. The only time you get a black screen is if you don't have the personal vehicle space in the back. All right, so there is my old issy and here is my duped one, guys. Let's go! Back to back, you can just go and jump in another one and go do it again. Make sure you, of course, make sure you go back to the nightclub, call out a car and tell your friend to hop in the terabyte and la-di-da. But as you can see, guys, there is one dupe done very quickly and nicely. All right, guys, now on to the last one. I will show you how to burn any vehicle, all right? So let's just say you've brought one of these special vehicles and it's standard, you don't want it, you want one of your friend's modded ones or you've got a scratched one, whatever it be. All right, I'm gonna show you how to fuck it off and put a motorbike in its position ready for MOC, give cars to friends. Let's go. So I'm gonna fuck off that Wastelander, all right? I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna put a motorbike in its position, ready for give cars to friends, MOC to MOC. All right, so first off, guys, you must have a motorbike for this glitch, all right? You cannot use a car. Do not use a car, you will get a dead spot. You must have a motorbike, all right? I am gonna use this Batty 801, whatever the fuck it is, because I only own one of them. All right, so make sure you only own one of these motorbikes. Go and buy something you only own one of. All right, now once you have a motorbike in your arena, you're gonna press right on the D-pad. Also guys, make sure the arena is full for this glitch as well. All right, so press right on the D-pad to go into the mechanic workshop. 
Now I'm just gonna throw a personalized plate on here. So just in case for some reason I do get a baddie 801 later on in life, I can identify this one. But anyway, once you're in the workshop guys, just exit out, all right, circle and exit out of the workshop. Once you're outside, just bring up your interaction menu, go down to manage vehicles and call out whatever special vehicle you wanna burn. All right, so I was gonna burn the Wastelander cause it's stock. I don't like it, I don't want it, I want a new one. So I'm just gonna call it out. Once I call it out guys, I'm gonna wait 10 seconds. Once 10 seconds is up, I'm gonna tell my friend to hop out of the car back at the nightclub. And I will see my number plate will change. All right, once your number plate has changed, you're just gonna go straight back into the arena, the same level that you just come out of. Now, once you're inside, it will ask you to replace a vehicle. You're going to replace that motorbike, all right? Make sure you replace it with that motorbike, guys. Now, that is it. You have just moved your special vehicle out of the warehouse and into here. All right, it is up to you what you want to do with it. You can sit it there and you can just whatever, I don't know. But it is up there, it's sitting up there, it's invisible. Me personally, guys, I'm going to throw an elegy on it and fuck it off. I do not want it. And I have a motorbike sitting in its place, ready for MOC to MOC give cars to friends to get a new one, all right? So basically what I'll do is when my friend gives me my new Wastelander in the back of the MOC, I'll just call out that Batty 801 and drive it straight into my MOC and that will push my new Wastelander to its original spot where it belongs. All right, guys, and that is it for today. If you made it to the end of the video, all right, Jazzy's got one more glitch for you. All right, if it wasn't obvious enough, your friend is still off the radar. All right, so you can pay him back. Go give him a car. Go do gift cards to friends up at the facility and give him a car, give him something, pay him back. All right, boys. All right, time to go and fucking kill that Harry Willie fuckwit, whatever his name. Nah, come on, are you serious? Bro! Oh, well, anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Take care!